Arthrex introduces the MaxForce MTP plate for fusion of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Initially, prepare the joint for fusion by using the cannulated metatarsal and phalangeal reamers. It is important to remove all remaining cartilage from both joint surfaces. While not depicted here, it is also important to create bleeding bone channels at the metatarsal and proximal phalanx by fenestrating the joint surfaces by using a 1.6 mm K wire. Furthermore, autograft calcaneal bone may be inserted into the joint prior to setting the position of the toe. Prior to provisionally fixating the plate to bone, a 1.1 mm K wire for the compression FT screws should be placed across the joint to set the desired final position of the toe. While using the black line of the plate to confirm proper placement at the joint line, temporarily fixate the plate using two BB tacks. Next, create a bicortical bone tunnel using a 2.0 mm drill. Measure and place a 3.0 mm flathead cortical screw to compress the plate down to the bone. The new flathead cortical screws allow for a zero-profile construct within the plate. Proceed to place two 3.0 mm variable angle locking screws into the proximal phalanx by using either the VAL drill guides or the traditional locking drill towers. The 3.0 mm VAL screws have a 30-degree cone of variability. Next, use the MaxForce compression drill guide to create a bicortical bone tunnel with a 2.0 mm drill. This creates the pilot hole for the geared MaxForce compression tool. With the BB tack still in place, insert the MaxForce compression tool through the bone tunnel until the gears mate with the MaxForce plate. The black line on the plate should align with the black line on the compression tool. Once engaged, proceed to remove the proximal BB tack. Now, while maintaining the desired position of the toe, turn the compression tool with two finger tightness in a clockwise fashion until an endpoint is reached and maximum compression is achieved. Maintain the position of the compression tool and reinsert a BB tack in one of the smaller BB tack holes in the plate. Utilization of the MaxForce compression tool allows surgeons to achieve an average of 25 pounds of compression through the geared mechanism. With the compression maintained through the BB tack, Remove the compression tool from the plate and proceed to drill an eccentric bone tunnel in the compression slot of the plate. Advance a 3.0 mm flathead cortical screw until the head of the screw contacts the max force plate. Remove the BB tack and fully insert the screw into the plate. This allows for another additional 9 pounds of compression across the arthrodesis site. At this point, Proceed to drill and implant the remaining 3.0 mm screws into the metatarsal to complete the plating construct. Finally, to complete the fusion construct, a 3.5 mm compression FT screw is inserted across the arthrodesis site. First measure with the cannulated depth gauge, drill, and insert a 3.5 mm compression FT screw to further compress and stabilize the joint. With this third mode of compression, the MaxForce MTP plating system allows surgeons to achieve more than 2.5 times the standard amount of compression compared to traditional MTP plate and screw constructs. Gear up for fusion with the MaxForce MTP plating system.